So here we have the UV cabinet. And this is the most important tool to make a sterile environment when we are working with PCRs, especially when we come to bacteria that has a very high contamination risk. So when you approach the UV cabinet, uh, all of the switches should be off, no light. Uh, that indicates that it's uh, totally off. So the first thing we do is just to check that the door is locked down because it should always be locked down when it's off. Then we find the power switch, turn it off, and the power switch is on a square uh, piece of the machinery in the back side. Okay, now we can turn on the light with the first switch that is marked number one. And we see the light, so now the machine works. Then we turn it off again, open the cabinet, which is sliding up the glass door, and now we can put all of the things we need to sterilize for the process. So the first thing that is very important to sterilize is the vials with PCR water, because PCR water is the main contaminant in PCRs. So I move them in to the cabinet and actually take the vials out of the rack, so it gets maximum exposure to UV light. Then we move in the pipette tips that we will use. Then we have the PCR tubes that we will do the reactions in. The, those also need to be sterilized with UV light. And we take a plastic trash bag and prepare that as well in the UV cabinet. And lastly, it's always smart to have a sterilized marker because we will need to mark a lot of the samples when we are working in the UV cabinet. Then we take the door, slide it down. Then we turn on the switch number two and we will hear a sound of the machine starting and also the numbers here will turn red. Then we hold the plus button until it goes up to 30. If you go up above 30, you just use the minus button. And then we push start. And now we need to wait half an hour for the sterilization process to uh, complete. And then we can start the actual PCR work.